Welcome to an ancient DNA paper review with Sebastian Tomek. Today we will review the paper The Genomic History of Southeastern Europe. This paper is about the population changes in Southeastern Europe during the Late Stone Age, Mesolithic and Neolithic. A Neolithic begins with farming in Western Europe and presence of pottery in the East. The Balkan was the breachhead in the spread of agriculture from its root in the Fertile Crescent of southwestern Asia. After the first appearance of agriculture in the mid-7th millennium BC, farming spread westward via the Mediterranean and northwestward via the Donabian route and was established in both Iberia and Central Europe by 5600 BC. Ancient DNA studies have shown that the spread of farming across Europe was accompanied by massive movement of people closely related to the farmers of northwestern Anatolia, today's Turkey. In this paper they have sequenced 223 ancient humans from the Balkan Peninsula, the Carpathian Basin and North Pontic Steppe and neighboring regions dated to 12,000 to 500 BC. Initially, the population composes of peoples with hunter-gatherer related ancestry that is more closely related to the Mesolithic hunter-gatherers from Europe than to any other population that can be further subdivided into Eastern hunter-gatherers and Western hunter-gatherers related ancestry. Second, there is a Northwest Anatolian Neolithic related ancestry related to the Neolithic farmers of northwest Anatolia and tightly linked to the, to the appearance of agriculture in Europe. The third source is steppe-related ancestry, appears in Western Europe during the late Neolithic to Bronze Age transition and is ultimately derived from a population related to the Yamnaya steppe pastoralists. Modeling Balkan Neolithic populations as a mixture of Northwest Anatolia Neolithic and Western hunter gatherers, they estimate that 98% of, of their ancestry is Northwest Anatolian Neolithic related. In the Balkans, Copper Age populations, Balkan Calcatholithic, harbor significantly more hunter gatherer related ancestry than the Neolithic populations. The hunter-gatherer contributions is mainly from males. The Yamnaya steppe pastoralists are usually associated with the spread of Indo-European languages. However, the individuals from the Globular Amphora culture shows no Yamnaya steppe ancestry, even though it is thought to be Indo-European. About 75% of the ancestry of individuals associated with the corded ware complex and in Central Europe, about 50% of the ancestry of people associated with the succeeding archaeological cultures, such as the Bellbreaker complex, can be traced to populations that probably mo moved from the Pontic Caspian steppe in the 3rd millennium BC and that had ancestry similar to that of individuals linked with the Yamnaya complex. The first Indo-European language with a written record is the Hittite that lived in Anatolia, modern-day Turkey. The study find no evidence of Copper Age Balkans to Anatolia migration of Yamnaya ancestry. They speculate in that maybe the Proto-Indo-European language was in the Caucasus or in Iran. Until next time, I wish you all the best.